I need to cut my bangs. I'm starting to look like Michael from The Princess Diaries. Not a bad thing, but I can't see. You may have heard of someone named Barbie, or as I like to call her, Barbara, because we're, we're close like that. We're just gals like that. Usually it goes the opposite way to where I just call her Barb, you know, usually get a nickname, but I like to lengthen the name. And you may have heard she's a movie star. She's a movie star. She has so many movies. Just scads and scads of movies. And I don't know why, but I have not watched one of her feature films yet on this channel. It has probably been over 10 years since I've seen a Barbie movie. I think I'm gonna pick The Princess and the Pauper, or the full title is Barbie as the Princess and the Pauper. So if you didn't know, the Mark Twain book was based on this Barbie movie. The Mark Twain, Prince and the Pauper, based on Barbie as Princess and the Pauper. I know Mark Twain's version came out quite literally a hundred years before this one, but time... What do we really know about time? So you gotta rent it for $4. Oh. Okay. It is rented. It's unrated. Oh my goodness. I love how unrated could mean straight to DVD children's movie or just off the walls. You should not be under 18 watching this. And you know, you don't know. So this movie's from 2004. In her first animated musical, featuring seven original songs. Seven songs, that's all I need to know. This says it's based on the story by Mark Twain. Cut the cameras. Okay, now that my legs are already falling asleep, let's start the movie. Many years passed. The princess learned her royal duties. I love the watercolor photos and the zoom outs. It wasn't surprising that the princess and the pauper never met. Surprise. Why? Princess. Why is it so? It's like squish. It's like they did that squish filter. I'm gonna sob. I'm gonna start sobbing. If I start sobbing, mind your business. And the old Barbie logo. I miss the old Barbie logo. Now they gotta make everything like minimalistic and make everything like block letters. No, we like the old Barbie with the little flower on the eye. The kingdom was now bankrupt. How was she going to take care of her people? How is she keeping those glasses on? She has a strong nose bridge. Those glasses are holding on for dear life, for dear life on her nose. Her nose is pretty snatched, so glasses like that would just fall right off. So I don't know how that's possible in this real Barbie world. If only she could call on her trusted advisor, Preminger. Mm -mm. He was away on a long journey. Mm -mm. Who was seeking a wife. It's Barbie! <laughs> well, then there's your math lessons, uh, your geography lessons. <laughs> I love how she just went. All of their movements are like, just so smooth. There's no like, this was 2004. I need to calm down. Nothing to do and for once know where I need to be. This is already too much. Your parents should have thought of that before they borrowed so much. They did it to feed me. Fair mistake. <laughs> Don't like her. And Mary, whom I I feel like a fake fan because I don't remember all the words, but if only y'all had seen me when I was seven. If only y'all had seen me. Can I come along? She's like, no. She said, no. She said, who? Did y'all hear something? Because I sure didn't. Okay. What idiot put this in it? Okay. My British accent comes directly from this movie. 
okay. Did he spit that out? It looked like he went <laughs> spit it out. Something the antagonist would do. Okay, kitten heels. <laughs> That is definitely a human. Imagine being like, yes, that was me. I was the poodle. Honestly, peak. You're visiting New York. You go on the subway. You hear some person barking. You think it's just a normal thing that happens on the subway. But you look over. That bark sounds familiar. Is that the poodle from Barbie as Princess and the Pauper? You walk over to him. He goes, yes, yes, it is me. Everyone seems to notice. You want an autograph? And you say, yes, yes. You are the one celebrity that I have wanted to meet. Then you wake up and realize it was all a dream. <laughs> I've been bowing, I've been scraping, I've been lying like a rug. We're kind of matching. I've been turning on the hue. And for 10 long years I've had to pay my dues. Who's the voice for him? It is. Martin Short is the voice of Preminger. That's honestly the peak of his career. I'm not saying he had a bad career, but if you had any career, this would be the peak of it. No! I won't let go! Ah! Oh, it's a temporary setback. It's a momentary loss. That is beautiful. They have the shiny filter on it, we love it. I love animated cats. Enjoy it now, sister, cause it ain't gonna be yours much longer. Oh, please. For a long time, I was a cat person and it's because I portray dogs like this and cats like that. Everything just in my whole life makes sense because of this movie. Everything's becoming so clear. The throne's gonna belong to my master, Preminger. Ooh, the knees are making me uncomfy. It looks like that dog has knees. Here by invitation of the queen. Of the queen. Quite sure about this? I am. He really had eight-year-old me like... Hey, hey. Julian. Perfect timing. Perfect Julian. Iron pyrite. Pretty, but not considered valuable. Barbie, I'm sorry, Grindy, but you can like brush out your curls, you know? We're just gonna curl, leave it. Leave it. She told her hairdresser, leave it. Will a week from today do? Ah! Next week. <sighs> ah! Next week. <laughs> I forgot how just amazing his character is. They even made the villain likable. His boo bride. He really went. Annalise. You're going to need your cape. Annalise. <gasps> You're going to need your cape. I am? Oh, I thought he was gonna confess his love. Maybe later. <sighs> It feels so good to be outside the castle walls. Nobody knows who I am. How do they not know who she is? I don't, are they using the cape to cover her head so like they don't know? But like, I would be like, that's the princess. I mean, the difference in how they're dressed and everyone else, I feel like everyone would know something was up. Rosa Centifolia. My favorite, but you knew that. <sighs> that smells delicious. I'll be right back. What a gentleman. For you're always free to begin again. Free to believe. Get back to work, girl, or there'll be trouble. Trouble. Annalise, you have the same name as the princess. <laughs> well. <laughs> She's like, well... Well... <laughs> to a total stranger. At least you're not an indentured servant. Oh, she said humble yourself. But I'd rather be in my library reading science books all day. Women in STEM. 
And imagine life without the strife of an unfamiliar groom. Imagine a life without the strife of an unfamiliar groom. <laughs> I love this. I'm just like you. I think that's true. You're just like me. Yes, I can see. We take responsibility. I don't know why I didn't do this before, but this is going straight on my winter 2021 playlist. <laughs> 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 it's uncanny. <laughs> uncanny. Well, thank you, Wolfie Not Rover. <sighs> My name's Serafina. He got a whiff of that tail. <laughs> Sir. If she falls for that, ma'am, you are too smart for that. Serafina, come here, girl. Come here, kitty. Princess Annalise will not stand for that. Unlock this door. Yes, Your Highness. <laughs> yes, Your Highness. <laughs> we are in charge. <laughs> Think you could get me up to the roof? I do not know. That horse is so pitiful looking. Just count to three. Uh, the, two. Every time I count, I'm gonna be like, uh, uh, whoa! Well, this is dreadful. We have to find her. Those are not even worth anything, sir. If you knew anything about gemstones, you would know. It doesn't add up. Why would she run away? She never scented her stationery with lilac. It was always Rose. When he remembers. See, he was a gentleman. He listens. He cares about the little things. <sighs> She's in real trouble, isn't she? How are her eyes so unbelievably blue? Like, I have never seen anyone's eyes look like this. Unrealistic expectations for women. Pretend to be Princess Annalise. She's gonna have to find a wig. Blonde in a box. He just hands her a bucket of bleach because it's the 19th century. Are we not gonna question how he knows where that is or why he has it or why she has it if he knows where it is? She wearing wigs this whole time? Is it really her? Is she really her? Was it a wig the whole time and she just had like a backup wig? Why would they just have that laying around? Well, I guess in case she goes missing, but why would they expect her to go missing? Too many questions left unanswered that we'll probably probably won't get answered. I don't know a thing about being a princess. About being a princess. <sighs> no nagging, bragging, sweating, fretting, slipping, tripping, slurping, burping, twittering, or frittering aloud. No twittering. She's got to keep up her socials. Barbie has a Twitter. You got to keep up with your socials to stay relevant. I don't know what he's talking about. To be a princess is to never be confused. To be a princess is to never be confused. <laughs> to never be confused. <laughs> That's the one thing as a princess you can't do. Never be confused. If you're confused, don't. Everything everyone says must make sense in your brain or you can't be princess, all right? No Twitter, no being confused. This kind of do come hand in hand because Twitter is so confusing. Shoulders back and tummy in and piggy out and lift the chin and slowly turn the head from side to side. I see now. Shoulders back and tummy in and <gasps> piggy out and lift the chin and slowly turn the head from side to side. I see I see now, we get it! Never show a thing you feel inside. Glide! <laughs> I love how he's like, have no emotions. Be a robot. To be a princess is to never get to rest. Her cat really said, Sleep on a mattress extra firm. I do that. I have an extra firm mattress. I could be a princess. When she walks in the room, I see. Doors close and the chemistry grows. He's like, all right. All right, Julian. He's like, ooh. The wedding to King Dominic is 
cancelled. Promise me you'll never do it again. She's like, I will, I'll marry him. I'll marry him if she doesn't. Who left this mangy beast in here? Who left this mangy beast in here? Excuse me? She's a royal. She's a royal, all right. A royal pain in the behind. Hey. That was a zinger. Get out of that bed! Get out of that bed. If you weren't such a lazy cow... Those dresses would be finished by now. Cow! Those dresses would be finished by now. <laughs> dare you if you're going to treat your seamstresses this way, we'll take our royal business elsewhere. That's right. Taking our business elsewhere. We are not supporting this small business. It's up to you now, Serafina. Take this to the castle. She's like, risk your life, Serafina. Jump off this ledge, Serafina. Look at all this food. Let's see what she has for breakfast. Um, two apples, some coffee, some creamer, or tea. I'm guessing that would be tea for royal. It's not coffee, it's tea. Five, six cinnamon rolls and a cube of butter. And also four knives. Four knives. You're no status quo calico, so I keep trying to be. You're no status quo calico. Your bow wow's the cat's meow. It's how I know you're you. How I know you're you. This was my favorite scene of this. I'm mentally stable, okay? I'm mentally stable. It's the allergies. My eyes are always dry, okay? There. This one's finished. Please, your highness. You don't have to do this. She's like, you really don't have to do this, your highness. You really don't have to do this. You don't have to ruin our business, your highness. Wasting all this fabric, your highness. I'm honored. Uh... <clears throat> The honor's mine. Yeah, she's like, the honor is mine, sir. With her light blue eyes, the honor is mine. King Dominic, would you do us the honor of playing the piano? He plays piano. <sighs> Lad, if you loved me for me. Why does he look so big next to that piano? I'd be sure. Wait, he stopped playing the piano. How's the piano still going, sir? Do you know? I don't either. My blinds didn't know. We shall always be as one. I have chills on my arm, partly because it's 20 degrees outside, but also the song. Now kiss. Do they even kiss in these movies? I don't think they even kiss. That is getting into the G-rated category. This is unrated. There's something about you. You're honest. No pretenses, your highness. <gasps> Just knocked over that glass. Your eyes. No pretenses. <sighs> and I think I'm falling in love with the king. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Madam Cops, dress shop. Madam Cops. <laughs> Preminger, you found my ring. You good girl. Oh, she still thinks he's good. Can she not tell by his eyebrows that he is not up to any good? And how would you get to be king? Ooh, humble him. She got humbled. She's now humbling. Julian! Annalise? <gasps> how sad they'll be. They'll be when they discover you've died. Died? They're getting a little bit dramatic. That's getting into G territory. No good. Ooh. Um, if anyone else did that, if it wasn't Julian, they would have broken their shoulder because I'm pretty sure that is a steel door. But he's risking it all for Annalise. Horse is the saddest thing I've ever seen. Why'd they make its eyes look so sad? For my bride to be. Whoa. <gasps> okay. He has that coin. 
Seven carrots? Okay. So she could take her place. Check her shoulder. There's no royal birthmark, I assure you. <gasps> it's true. She doesn't have the perfectly shaped crown birthmark. My daughter. My poor daughter. They really made her think that she was dead. The sooner we leave, the happier I will be. Calm down, sir. You can really calm down. I never crack a stiff upper lip. Stiff upper lip. <laughs> stiff upper lip. I know we don't want a stiff upper lip. None of us want a stiff upper lip. I know. She's like that that man that wanted to marry me, he really did have a stiff upper lip. Glad I avoided that. I was starting to fall in love with that stiff upper lipped King Dominic. Yes, marry me. But how can you refuse? How can you refuse? Oh, I would. Refuse. If you have to look away when he proposes to you, you probably shouldn't marry them. It's probably not gonna work out. If you have to be like, oh, okay. Oof. I think you're like this. Unassuming on the outside, but a treasure within. Ugly on the outside. <laughs> kind of a backhanded compliment, but yeah. Get out of here, Cute. Look at you. Mm. I'm getting tired of his voice, honestly. Like, I don't like him now. I thought he was likable, but now it's, he's just getting on my nerves. Wow, the villain getting on your nerves? Weird. With his voice like this. <laughs> Water! Here! Help me! How's that gonna help? They're just gonna drown. Do they think they're just gonna float to the top? I don't know if that's how it works, Annalena. Annalise. Annalise. Why can't I remember their names? <laughs> I have to keep up the cast so that I can remember their names. And even then I can't. He went... <laughs> I would know those lips anywhere. <laughs> I would know those lips anywhere. That is the king. This way. Hey. Why doesn't he show her that it's him already? Uh, I guess I deserve that. We need to hurry. The walking on these movies is always so satisfying. It's just the perfect click, click, click. Just listen to that. I do Wait. Wait. She said, I do. <gasps> Erica and Annalise start singing, There goes my baby. <laughs> LOL. I like your style, Hervé. So do I. <laughs> so do I. And the cliche cake all over them. I love it. But this was the blueprint for all the cliches. This was before the cliche. It, all the cliches were based on this movie. Every movie took notes from this movie. Every director took notes from this movie. Spielberg took notes. Mother, it's Julian I want to marry. <sighs> That's what Jenna Marble said. But it is I want to sing, see the world. Then that horse is like, can we go now? I hope you'll take this with you. I couldn't. I couldn't. I mean, I really couldn't. I like, I like really couldn't. I would feel so bad. Like, I would really feel so awful. It was meant for you. That ring does not fit. No promises? I'll take my chances. Wait, so he gave her a ring, but she's not staying? She went out of business. That's right. Take your hat and leave. Sometimes being free means choosing not to go. Wow. That was deep. And you're always free to be me. Oh. When you find the place that your heart belongs. And it may not show. Are they having a double wedding? Double rainbow, double wedding. Show at the start. 
She has purple eyes. More unrealistic expectations for women. Wolfie and Serafina lived happily ever after, along with their many, many, many kittens. Along with their many, many, many kittens. All right. <laughs> Are these bloopers? <laughs> bloopers. I love this. Cause you're more than that. You're a doggish Wolfie. Cut. Oh, can never work with cats on set. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> How romantic, right? They even had chemistry on set, like off the screen. I bet they had so much fun on set. I thought that was Hillary Duff at first. I thought I'd watch it and be like, okay, this is not as good as I remember it, but this surpassed my expectations. Like adults could watch this movie, I think. If there's a live action version, no, like you really don't have to call me. Let me know. I'll do. Do a plie and don't ever, ever, ever fall. Never show dismay. <laughs> I work at Madame Carp's penitentiary. Ah, uh, I mean, dress emporium. 